water, one of the most crucial and elementary needs of existence. Yet in any community that has motor vehicles, animals, agricultural, or landscaping, the storms that bring this vital resource also bring with them challenges. In Santa Barbara, storm water runoff carrying sediment, nutrients, bacteria, hydrocarbons, metals, pesticides, and trash is the single largest source of surface water pollution. A lot of things get spilled and dumped on driveways and pathways that you never even think about uh, from people working on their cars or landscaping, pesticides, those kinds of things. And plants are better at, at managing most of those pollutants than most of the manufactured products are. So if you can get those through plants and through soil, then that's really the best way to get rid of all those. Since 2006, the city of Santa Barbara has implemented a stormwater management program to protect water quality and conserve water resources. As part of that program, a list of best management practices, or BMPs, was created to provide property owners efficient and practical solutions to handling stormwater. Stormwater best management practices, or stormwater BMPs, are essentially a collection of anywhere from complex and engineered solutions all the way down to very simple layperson ideas and solutions to treat stormwater with the respect it deserves such that it is a instead of being a liability and a constraint it becomes more of an asset and a benefit not only for on-site but off-site as well. There are a variety of tools that you can use to uh, avoid overloading the stormwater systems of the city and whether it be recharging the groundwater and letting the, the water percolate through or to actually just slow it down so there's not as much going into the to stormwater system at once. By capturing and retaining runoff, BMPs reduce the amount of pollutants entering our creeks and the ocean. Instead of taking stormwater off of parking lots and rooftops and getting them as fast as you can into the storm drain, which is what was the practice for flood control purposes for most of history, is to now try to get them and route them through vegetation and percolate them through soil to get the cleaning processes that happen in nature uh, to happen at a developed project site and to kind of mimic what used to happen there as much as you can. Besides keeping pollutants from entering creeks and the ocean in the first place, Stormwater BMPs also help conserve water. Letting it go into the ground as it naturally would have done before we put all these hardscape and paved surfaces throughout the city. And then uh, it not only is naturally treated by putting it into the ground and infiltrating it, but it is recharging the natural groundwater supply. Stormwater BMPs can range from the very simple to the complex. In fact, a wide variety of BMPs are available for any property. The idea is to follow what the land is telling you, you know. Um, look at the slope, the orientation, what kind of plant material you have, uh, potential for erosion and, and mitigating things like that, uh, and just opportunities for, uh, you know, allowing the water to go down instead of out to the ocean. Santa Barbara's uh, at the higher end of land values, so when you work on projects like this, you really need to work with the owners and the architects and the site planning and figure out where can you put things and try to do the stormwater quality that needs to happen while, without impacting the site too much and let them get their buildings in and get their pedestrian ways and everything they want to be in the project and work around those. Many Santa Barbara residents have already taken the initiative to utilize stormwater BMPs around their homes with excellent results. When we moved here we had grass and boxwood hedges and dead. a magnolia tree. I should tree. say dead grass yes. and dying boxwood hedges. And it seemed like a, a not a good use of water here. And I also wanted something that was low maintenance and easy to take care of. Living in a semi-arid Mediterranean climate makes water conservation that much more important. Fortunately, helping conserve water does not have to come at the expense of aesthetics. It was a combination of liking the idea that we could be more water resourceful and, um, and the fact that there is something sort of sculptural and architectural about um, succulents and the kinds of plants that are also better planted in this area and do better for, for conservation purposes. So it was, a, it was a happy relationship between the two. We've got people slowing down or stopping or waving or telling us what a beautiful yard it is and it's, it's, always, it's always a pleasure and we spend a lot of time out on the front um, deck. So it's nice to be acknowledged and be able to wave back and take some pleasure in it. To know if you comply with BMP regulations, 
The city's website provides a guidance manual, which sums up the requirements. In total, there are three tiers of BMP installation, with Tier 3 being required for larger size projects. In general, larger projects that are over 500 square feet of new impervious surface um, or redeveloped impervious surface will trigger some of the Tier 3 or higher requirements. And tier 3 requirements, there's three of them. There's rate, volume, and water quality treatment. So basically it's slowing down the rate of the runoff, um, holding back any increase in volume and keeping that on site, and then like I said, treating the one inch 24 hour storm. Although implementation of BMPs is fairly new, the task is not as daunting as it may seem. Oftentimes applicants are surprised at how easily they can meet the capture the one inch storm over 24 hours or you know, decrease your peak runoff rates. Um, it's been another rewarding part of my job is seeing that applicants who initially are a little bit freaked out by the requirements find in the long run that, hey, we can do this and it doesn't have to be that much extra cost to the overall project, which is great. I think it's important here. Um, you know, we live in a semi-arid place. Uh, water can be short supply at times, so I think it's really beneficial that everybody try and do what they can to conserve. Um, and we really enjoy the look of the yard. Um, so I think as much as we want to say we conserve water, it was basically the design that drove the whole thing and all the rest are benefits.